Okay, I want to show you my little uh, test bench, and basically what I have is my, I have my motor hooked up to the uh, pump, and we have our reserve here. This is basically going right into this area. What I end up doing is basically taking a PVC, uh, heating it up, and then put a clamp on, and it's sealed pretty well. Got a, a half inch pipe coming up, our little pressure gauge, and we're going right directly into a uh, fitting here. Uh, this is a .165 ID. Gives me a little idea of what kind of thrust we're going to generate. Now this is a little bit bigger than a uh, a one eighth of an inch, so it's it will then produce a lot more flow far as that and our gauge this is the only gauge I have right now uh, we're not running a lot of power 12 volts very low power we're using just to get a pretty good idea what it is and this little gadget here let me put this in here so you see this actually is going to sit in here like that and that's actually going to be able to we'll be able to see the jets but what I'm going to do is put a, a little piston down here with a little area so when that jet actually hits it it will create a uh, opposite force and push that upward where I will be able to measure the amount of thrust coming off that jet so that's pretty much it let me uh, just start this up and show you where we're at and here we go and right now we're not really generating a lot of power on this particular unit you can see so let me turn it up some more there we go we got about 40 psi now you can see that thing is really pumping up there really good not bad at all and pretty much uh let me slow this down i don't have no speed control on this as you can see not bad at all. I can also uh, control this a little bit. It's hard to really see. It's a little dirty. I probably have to get some cleaner fluid. But you can actually see the. Uh, let me let it clear. You can actually see where it all comes down and vice versa. So it's a good test uh, unit to actually test the uh, gallons per minute and also the thrust once I get everything hooked up. Let's turn it back on again. I mean, even at that low power that we're using, I mean, there's a lot of fluid running out of there. I believe we're pulling uh, roughly about, uh, not even, uh, about 10 amps right there it's showing. Let me turn this up. You can see we're about 40 PSI now. So we're, we're generating some thrust with that 40 PSI. Of roughly about 2 pounds of thrust with that. And we're pulling about, uh, looks like about 25 amps now on that. Which isn't bad at all. So it looks pretty good as far as the uh, setup no leaks in general and like I said I gotta do, do a lot of testing on this and you can see it is pouring out like crazy so uh, it looks like it's gonna do what it's gonna do on this particular unit it's it, it this is basically rated at 16 gallons per minute at 600 psi of course I'm not there yet and I'm not at the rpms either need it plus my uh, my uh, ID is a little bit too big. I need to make it a little bit smaller, about eighth of an inch. But uh, it at least gives me some data. Anyhow, I can plug that into the uh, data now and actually calculate the amount of uh, watts we use compared to the amount of thrust that we're generating and see what kind of numbers are actually up. So it, it's a start. Like I said, it's just basically, you know, doing the bench test to see where it stands on the motor. And if we can generate enough thrust compared to the input of power, then that thrust can have a greater output power on the uh, Clems engine. So I hope you uh, enjoy this little update. Talk to you later.